Cool. Okay. So, oh, uh, and just to make sure, Ellen, so we're going to do opening and structure and then we'll throw your hypothesis. I'll give the first exhibit, but we're not going to do it, right? We're not going to. Yeah. Okay, cool. <sighs> okay, Ellen, it was great to get to know you. I really think we might be a good fit. Um, let's go ahead and start the case interview. Are you ready? Yeah. Thank you so much for the time. Great. Great. Let's do it. So our client is Cho Coco, and it, they are a premium chocolate company based in Lima, Peru. The company has been operating profitably in its first few years of business and is now looking to expand into the United States. What should Chococo consider before launching this expansion? Great. So our customer is a premium chocolate manufacturer. And at this moment, the main operation is based in Peru and they are considering to expand in the U.S. And uh, uh, is that correct? Yes. Wait, is there any specific uh, goal that they want to achieve that within the uh, coming years? Yeah, they, they would like to enter the U.S. immediately. As soon as possible? Yes, as soon as possible. And uh, any specific like financial target, like market share, uh, profit margin, or yeah, do they have, sure. do they have any number in their mind? Yeah, so no no number in mind, but as for the market share and the market growth, um, the premium chocolate industry has seen strong growth uh, above 10% for each of the past few years. I see. You mean 10% growth in the United States? Uh, yeah, over, over 10%, yes. Great. And do they have any uh, experience regarding the expansion to the overseas markets or US is the first market you're considering? Nope, so currently they only operate in Peru and they sell chocolate in stores, but they only operate in Peru currently. So, sorry, they, they sell in store? And... Yeah, they, they sell chocolate in stores, um, but they only operate in Peru, no, no expansion of any other territory. I see, so um yeah i think i think that's the information um so what what kind of what kind of products uh our client is selling so only only chocolate or do they sell any uh like chocolate related products like yep, so so yeah they're they're simply a, a premium chocolate company just just chocolates like premium chocolates uh chocolate bars great awesome so yeah, I think I got everything that I need. Um yeah, so could could you could we have some minutes to talk about that? Yes, go ahead.
Yeah. So, uh, so, so if we want to answer in how to expand to U.S. immediately and successfully, so I want to I want to put that uh, problem into three buck, uh three buckets. So first one, I want to understand overall market. So what's the size and the growth rate of the U.S. Uh, market? And also, I want to understand the uh, comp uh, competitive landscapes. So what are existing uh, premium chocolate provider and sellers in the U.S. And I do that again. I think I should. I should do that bucket. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So yeah. So by answering how to uh, uh, expand to U.S. Immediately and, and successfully. So I want to understand the uh, problem into three buckets. So first of all, I want to understand the overall market, and is it a attractive market that we we should consider to enter? And then second, I uh, I want to analyze. So, uh, can we do we have the ability to enter the market, and what what kind of the key barriers that we are facing and how to how to deal with that? And then moving forward, it's then it's how how to enter the U.S. market. So, uh, what what are our uh, priority strategy? What are the ways that to explore the markets? So, yeah. So within the first market, so uh, by analyzing the uh, well, by understanding whether the market is attractive or not. So first, we we'll want to understand the size and growth rate, and also the competitive uh, landscape. What are the existing uh, premium chocolate uh, providers in the United States? And so, uh, how uh, and what's their strength and how could we differentiate ourselves from all those uh, uh competitors? Um, yeah, uh, considering chocolate is kind of a, such a, a normal product, so it's how to differentiate ourselves is, is pretty crucial. And then second is, do we have the ability to expand to the U.S. and um, uh, I, I, and what are the barriers that, that we are facing? I think the first thing that we 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 have to uh uh put that in mind is about the uh, brand uh, recognition because we are new to the U.S. market, so how to how how to effectively build our a uh, sales channel uh, um and how to do the marketing how to reach our uh, customers effectively um that's uh, crucial to our success and then it's about how to uh, uh operate that successfully and. Especially considering we enter into a U.S. market, like the regulation in the uh uh, uh FDA, uh like right re regulation of about the uh, FDA and how and and uh, and many others requirements from the um from the U U.S. customs, especially about the food. So that's kind of thing that we want to understand. We want to be, be prepared, mm, and also. Um, how and 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 we don't and because we don't have any personnel, it's located in the U.S. So we we uh we it seems like we don't have the uh the the ready human capital to support us in the U.S. How to find the right person is also a uh, key to our success. And then moving forward is about the specific uh expansion uh strategy. So. Um, I I think the 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 first thing that we want to figure out is depend on the U.S. market, uh, characteristics, and their uh consumer uh, uh and their uh consumer consum um uh, consuming behavior and our strengths. So what kind of um, I mean, what what kind of uh um segment that we want to prioritize. So maybe we want to sell that in the store, just like uh the in the Peru as well, or maybe we want to um focus on have have very specific um location that to prioritize, like we do uh like just like we we launch a pilot to test the idea and prepare to our a big expansion in the future, and. And then after we prioritize our uh, goal, our goal and our uh, target market, and then we need to consider the ways to enter the market. So we can do that completely by ourselves. Uh, find a local person and build up a local team, and or if want to do that immediately, 
and and the best way is find to find a strong partners. So maybe we can do a a, a joint venture, or maybe we can do a li licensing, and rather than the build it from the ground by ourselves. So yeah, before um, I think the first thing that I want to understand is the uh, the the overall premium chocolate markets in the United States. So Great. what would be the yeah. Great. Uh, so our client would actually like us to estimate for them the size of the premium chocolate industry in the United States. Could you estimate the size of the premium chocolate industry in the United States? Yeah, sure. Do we, do we stop or? Yeah, let's I stop. Mean, yeah. Great. All right, Ellen. Wow. Great job. Okay. You, have, you've definitely been practicing. How, how much have you been practicing? I, I mean, I didn't practice. I mean, I mean, honestly, I didn't practice, but but I it's just that I um I I like I I put together all the resources that I have read and all the ideas mm -hmm. that I mean I I know that I was not very structured I and but I didn't know I was so not structured before I I, I put I, I put things clearly and there are so many. And I always have a lot of ideas because I have been in the business industry for a while, but it's not in a structural way. It's not in a it's not in a structural way in my head, so I cannot express it uh, structurally. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's uh, and also it's I quickly review the uh like the mini MD material, market entry material, and understand the business and. Yeah, I just I just put some notes and it's it's really, really helpful. So awesome. Well yeah, I, I think you did a great job. Um yeah, I mean definitely the points you were hitting on. Um so yeah, let, let me share my screen and, and show you um thank you what's going on. Yeah, you did a great job. You did a great job. So thank you so much. Yeah, seriously. Mm -hmm. So um, premium chocolate industry, da, da, da. Um, and so this is the, you know, and so this is whatever. So yeah, the case guide, you did a great job immediately. Okay. So uh, just to recap, our client is a chocolate company and they would like to expand you. So basically great job recapping the prompt, um, exactly what you need to do. And I love this, you know, right after you asked for the objective, um, which is, and I gave it to you looking to enter the US immediately, but that was great. Uh, a lot of times before in our previous cases, you'd like say stuff like, oh, you, you, you wouldn't ask that right away. Um, and so great job, just like throwing, getting, getting the objective right away. Um, you asked, uh, pretty much about market growth. You, you were, um, kind of about, you know, what's the market segment or, you know, that we're looking at. Um, but ultimately, yeah, we got it. You're looking at the market. You're also looking at the operations about if there's previously been um whatever on the, the but you had not asked for pricing and financials. Um, but yeah, definitely um, you know, just just missed that. But I think I think you had the right idea. Um and yeah, which but overall your 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 framework was great. Uh exactly what basically was was exp you know expected and was great. Uh, market factors, you came up with competition and, you know, size and you know, the capabilities, you came up with dollar bills, like, you know, joint venture, organic growth, all that stuff. Um, capacity, uh, you, you went a great job about marketing and sales channels. Um, you know, it's sales channels here. Um, and so, so you had, and then you also great job with the FDA and regulatory regulatory. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely agree that, um, structuring in a messy way and that they're all different. Cause at some point, I think you were mentioning sales channels at the same place as capabilities, um, and all this stuff. Um, and so, yeah, and also you mentioned differentiators, but now, now that I think, so you had, you had put into like, the, you put into target market, you put in the capabilities and you, um, you you pretty much did these buckets. I, correct me if I'm wrong, right? I, I think you basically did these. Yeah, buckets. yeah, I, I did the three yeah. buckets. That it's just yeah, yeah, and which is great. Um, but I I I was after you gave these great. They're just great buckets. Exactly what I it kind of um was, I I, I it was kind of falling apart what you were sharing in each bucket, like because um you know either you were saying something about operations and marketing and the same as channels. I definitely I definitely I, I, would mean, recommend I mean yeah, it's like it's like the uh. The operation distribution and the marketing part in the second bucket, it's it's we we want to understand do we have I mean it's do we have the uh uh capability at this moment 
it's uh, it's can it's it's can we do that? It's our own ability. And the second and in the third bucket uh bucket about the channel stored and online is the uh the it's like the uh the specific uh subcategory of the market that we want to prioritize. Mm -hmm. So this is like like it's not distribution marketing, but but how we want to prioritize our efforts. Do we want to do a storage online or do we want to have any um uh geographic uh yeah, yeah. preference? Yeah. Yeah, I hear yeah, yeah. No, definitely you, you, you had all the you had the points. Um I, I would recommend uh once I send you the feedback to to watch the recording because because I mean you know ultimately um you know ultimately the 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 whole part of the case we did um was about like you know for uh, twelve minutes uh twelve to it was about it was about um like eight minutes total right from from when we started you know prompt to uh you know first first exhibit or uh, first question so I definitely think it'd be great for you to just watch it over again to see like what I'm seeing right. Um, yeah. Besides, it's only, it's only eight minutes, so I definitely recommend that. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Overall, you did a great job, though. Um, the the only uh, so yeah, you got all the right, you got all the right factors. Your delivery was much better in regards to like how you're structuring the opening. Um, yeah, again, all the right factors. Um, just overall, I think just watching watching the recording again and seeing what I'm seeing. Um, as you're um giving it, but yeah, great job. Um, uh, really great job. Um, so. Yeah, uh, I think yeah, and according to the great framework, I think compared to a good framework to a great framework, I think it's um more creative, mm -hmm. and and yeah, some some out of box ideas. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, I, but at least I can do uh the basic things at this moment. Yeah, and yeah, then, exactly. Yeah, and that that'll come once you like you know yeah you, you see that'll come you'll you know this this kind of stuff. I mean you know hotel company gifts that's kind of you know think of like dove or uh you know ghirardelli or something you know and just you know what that would yeah but yeah I, I think you hit you nailed the the basics and the the overall like you know core of it um now it's kind of you know let's flip it up and you know <laughs> you know like make it style it up ellen you know start ellen style or whatever um but yeah definitely definitely watch it and and just like you know nitpicky but i think it's important there there were a lot of like ums and ahs, like oh, I think um, and then uh, uh, um, so definitely just giving those sentences. But again, I think it's really important that you watch this over again just to see what I'm seeing. Uh, and so, um, yeah, um, cool. I think that's the yeah, and then and then as well, great, you know, great job. Um, you know, I I, I great job like asking for ultimately the first question. Yeah, you nailed it. Um, which was we're looking at the customer. Um, you know the 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 attractiveness of this U.S. market, and you, you, uh, what the questions you were asking ultimately leads directly into what um what the case is looking to ask you. Um, so great job with that too. Um, uh, so yeah, overall overall um content opening, um and uh content opening and um hypothesis was great. Only thing would be uh delivery. I I'd say you know um and uh as well you were a little bit slow on the structure at 1242 starts so about two minutes two minutes 20 um so 140 seconds if we can bring that down to 120 uh that would be super great um but yeah overall great great start um do you have any other thoughts no i think that's a great wrap up thank you so much for the feedback and yeah, i yeah, will no. definitely check the video to see um it's I I know that how I uh, present thing, it's a very obvious weakness for me at this moment. So yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, gonna... we'll yeah we'll we'll get there. Um, so uh, if it's okay, so um, I'll I'll let you like digest that for a little bit. I, I'm gonna use the restroom and whatever. Um, but sure. then after that we can go to our our next case. Um, great, great, if, awesome. If this is the thing. So, so this one, you know, from from start to finish, we start ten ten and ten thirty. So, you know, that was only twenty minutes. Really, we could, you know, if we want, we could squeeze three practice cases. And we'll we'll see how we do. We'll see, you know, we'll see how much time we have. Sure. Uh, but we would have time for three if we go at this pace. So, yeah, yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I'll I'll let you. I'll be back in um like uh ten minutes, uh, five minutes. Five, five minutes. Yeah, right. 35. See you soon. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'll I'll let you like digest it, right? And then 
Yeah, I'll be right back. Hey, hey, y'all. Yeah, thanks. All right. So uh, are you, how do you feel? I'm great. Yeah, I'm ready. Cool, cool. Okay. So, all right, Ellen, it was great to get to know you. I think that we might be a good fit, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see how this interview keeps going. Um, I say we jump into the case interview. What do you think? Great. I'm ready. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, yes. Okay, let's do it. So, our client is one of the major Canadian banks. In recent years, they have found that growth in their current businesses has not been as fast as they would like, and recent regulatory changes have begun squeezing their margins. As such, they would like to move into the wealth management business as a way of generating additional profits and have, fi and have hired us to figure out how to do so. Gotcha. So... Um... 
So our our customer is a is a uh it's a leader bank in Canada, and at this moment they're facing both stagnated growth rate and also uh and shrinking profit margin. So and now they're considering to get into the wealth management uh arena and to increase the profit, right? So I might get. Great. So I have a couple of questions before we dive into the case. So do they focus more on the top line or do they focus more on the, uh, the profit? Um, so what do you mean? Just, um, oh yeah. So, um, so, um, yeah. What, what, what's the, the, uh, the, uh, what's the, uh, goal of our uh, clients? Do they want to like see a revenue increase or do they mainly focus on the profit? Right. So, so as for, as for revenue and profit increase, they're, they're just looking to move into the wealth management business. Um, I, I saw ideally both revenue and profit, but they would just like to ask us, um, if they should enter this, um, this, um, kind of service or the wealth management business. Gotcha. So do they have any specific goal have in mind, like financial goal or time frames or anything that you should let me know before? Uh, no, they would just like us to figure out, um, no specific time frame or anything. They would just like us to figure it out, uh, how, how they would go about entering this, uh, wealth management business. I see. So at this moment, their, their operation, is it a local bank or do they operate globally? Right. Uh, it's, it's Canadian, one of the major Canadian banks. So largely in Canada. Largely in Canada, and what kind of um service they offer at this moment? Right. So currently, they offer retail banking, corporate banking, payments, and insurance. Payments and insurance. Gotcha. So you mean the payment? It's like a payroll service, or? Yeah. Yes. I see. Uh, and so regarding the wealth management, they still target to the uh Canadian, um, uh, local local market, right? Yes, the Canadian market. Yeah, great. I think I got all information awesome now. So can I have a minute to talk in the talk? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, so um, I I think uh before and before answering um, so if we want to enter in whether a wealth management is a good arena to to dive into, so we I want to put that problem into four buckets. So the first of all, I want to understand the overall market. So and then moving forward, I want to assess our current capability, and then I want to understand how I want to analyze how we can how we can enter uh, the wealth management arena. And then finally, it's I want to, I want to analyze in a, a, a like financial perspective. So, and within the first bucket, so 
uh, within the first bucket, I want to understand the overall market. It is other size and growth of the uh, Canadian wealth management uh, market at this moment. And then what are the, uh, what what about their uh, the competitive landscapes? What are the key competitors that are offering the wealth management service at this moment? And also, and who are our customers? And because we already have the retail business, corporate business, so um, uh, what what kind of uh, so what are the uh, current customers um, they're looking for about the uh, wealth man man management? And what are the uh, strengths of the uh, existing? Oh, is there kind of a niche market that we could get? Uh, maybe for example, the hot topic ESG, uh, maybe a thing that we might want to consider. And then moving forward is about our own capability. Mm. And it's it's could we could it's it's uh, do we have the uh the the skills to uh to launch the wealth management. And for example, the right uh, human, uh, the, the right talent, the right, uh, we will probably need to launch a, a new a new department to deal with the wealth management. And, and then about our sales channels, um, can, can we leverage our existing uh, sales channel, leverage our existing customer base? What do we need to, what do we want to um, put a, uh, a new uh, a new sales team to expand our wealth management department and then it's oh it's also about the uh, regulations at this moment we do retail corporate payment and insurance so uh usually the wealth management has have, have very specific regulatory uh requirements so maybe we need to acquire a new uh, license to launch the service um, so it, it's also a thing that we want to uh, uh, to uh, to take that in mind. Mm. And then uh, within the third market is how how we how to enter into the wealth management. I think there are uh, three ways to do that. So one is we build it from the scratch, and also we could consider to start a joint venture, find a good partners to do that with. Um, to 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 launch the wealth management together with us, and also we could just uh do a small uh acquisition, and then we could have the all the uh talent that we need to launch the wealth management. So these are the ways that we could do that, and also um and also we want to consider what kind of uh subcategory market they want to prioritize. We want to prioritize. Um, do we want to um, do we want to focus on the high net worth individuals, or do we want to uh, focus on the uh, general pop, uh, uh, public? What kind of the uh, strength that uh, or niche that we're offering? Do we offer um, like a, a hot topic, um, hot growing topic like uh, ESG? Um, ESG theme, the wealth management, or do we want to do uh, to brand ourselves? Like we have, we have really, we have really advanced technology, uh, um, mobile app that you could manage your your wallet that on on your fingertips. Mm. So it's we want to understand how we want to prioritize our efforts, and then finally it's moving on. Want to look into the financial. We know that the growth is slow, and we're facing a shrinking profit margin. So by launching the wealth management, we need to understand the uh, uh compared to our investments, what were the uh, prospective uh revenues, and what are the uh costs. Um, that will incur, and yeah, so great. So before any uh, and moving forward, I want to understand. Uh, so yeah, um, I want to know. Um, so the first step it's about the uh, market. I want to understand the uh, size of the market and the growth rate. Yeah, great. 
So that's a great framework. Um, we're gonna go in a bit of a different direction. Um, we're let's we're our client would like to look at the client profiles, uh, the customers like you mentioned, and they would like us to, um, decide for them what would be profitable clients based on the bank's estimation. Great. Great. All right. How how do you feel, Ellen? How how was that? I think yeah. Still, um, I think still the same the same problems i think the the overall content it's is okay but not actually i i have some i have some great ideas but i cannot mm -hmm. articulate that at them clearly like some creative idea for example like the mobile app special distribution mm -hmm. channel high networks but it's i i'm still kind of not quite familiar with the okay structure. So mm -hmm. it, that's why I cannot incorporate those good ideas to the, uh, to the, so it's like, I, now I can, I know how to walk, but I cannot dance. I even walk <laughs> wobbly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's the, uh, the one thing. And the second is. Oh yeah. I just that. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the second is, is still how I deliver the whole, uh, the whole idea. Mm. And how mm, it, I know this is my weakness, so it sometimes found me distracted, and I may that that is a barrier that I need to conquer that the uh, mm -hmm. in the in the coming future. Yeah, yeah. just like you know, just like the the ums ums and like yeah know, sentences that like you start, but then it's like oh I'm gonna yeah. do a different sentence. Yeah. Right, um, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, think, um, I think that, um, this one was definitely, um, for for one, your finance background was definitely showing. I, I some of the terms you were using, I was like, oh, what's that? <laughs> so that was that was cool. Um, but yeah, so um, you're you're pretty spot on with like your your own assessment. Let me let me share my screen. So, right. So you have the major Canadian banks. Um the the um the question that they would um like to answer right is is entering move into the wealth management business um you would ask a couple of questions in your uh in your opening of like oh you did a good you had you did a great recap you know squeezing margins um but uh right after the recap uh, the the objective right is like okay is there any specific objective uh that our client would like to uh, keep in mind so like like verbatim that and you you were hinting on that you're like oh is there any time frame is there any uh revenue goal or is there um you know or, and you mentioned something about uh, uh something like that but uh really it had it just been is there any is there any key measure for success that our client would like us to keep in mind i was oh no they would just like us to figure out how uh, whether they should uh how to do so whether how they should do this um this market entry so that, and that would be it that, that would, okay they would just like to know how um and that would be that would be the top level of your structure um you did a great job with the uh the current products that they sell retail corporate um did you just to make sure did you already know what wealth management was i i'm because oh yeah okay okay that's good <laughs> I was like, yeah so i i figured that but i just wanted to uh, make sure. Um, and yeah, like how to make money. Um, just a number of the a number of the questions that you had asked in the last case, such as uh, you addressed it. You ended up addressing customers in your structure, so that was good. Um, but um, a lot of these questions that come with um, you know, market entry case or just even even just in any any opening. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, we we did well in the last one, but this one, um, they were kind of missing. Um. But you did get the you did get a good um you did get some of them, um uh, and so yeah um just moving forward. Uh, the framework um again you you had for what I remember you had overall market company capabilities ways to enter and then financial perspectives, um so that was great with the financial perspectives with the profitable and will we make money and you did a good job with the market size, um pretty, pretty much yeah you, you you nailed the market size like the clients or. Uh, I forget exactly what you said, but you nailed the market size, um, customer. But between between internal capabilities and operational, I think I, I think that there's just there, there's like some muddy between it, right? So it's internal capabilities, kind of like the resources, like you said, um, like hiring smart people or 
you know, and then as well resources or whatever. And then we'll, you know, he's talked about uh, whether we could, you know, leverage our current products or our current services. Um, so that was, that was great. But then, then along somewhere along the lines, I think he was saying something about joint ventures or about apps and stuff like that. And so, um, but so, so the beginning and end, the, the first two buckets you were sharing were, were great. Um, but somewhere in the middle, I was getting, it was getting kind of muddied between which was, I mean, th this was not the, this was not the structure you used, um, but between the operational entering and the company capabilities, um, it was a little bit, I, I was getting a little bit lost of which one was which. Um, so definitely what you were saying about communicating your structure. Um, so uh, just, just to make entirely sure, um, let me, let me pull up a, let me pull up a, um, try to pull up a whiteboard really quick. Okay, hold on. Let me let me do yeah. Let me do this. Um, just to make just to make completely sure that this is the case. You're you're doing like um you're doing this is um I don't need to use my this is objective right and then you have like you said market um oh and also by the way um as for as for um timing you did great um uh, thirty seven thirty seven start thirty nine ten end so that was um 90 90 seconds yeah about 90 93 seconds so great great job on the timing um so just to make sure you have our uh market you have int capabilities you had um uh, ways of entry ways of entry and you had uh financial so so you had profit you know profitability um and so and then and then you know underneath you have each you know whatever uh, points you had um just to just to totally make sure so oh crap let me change colors um yeah, i can i can i can see i can see it it's, right, right. it's not oh no yeah problem. yeah um so so just to make sure so you're you're doing this one first and then this 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 or you know this 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 and then from here you go down right and then so road market down interactive down uh, entry down and then profit down Right. Is that the way you're, is that the way you were, um, that, that's the way you're going about it, right? Communicating it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just, just making sure. Yeah. Um, let me clear this. Clear all drawings. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Uh, I just want to make sure that was the case. Um, but that's good. That's good. You were uh, going about that way, but yeah, just, um, yeah, pretty much like, uh, it's like you're saying the delivery is good. Uh, the delivery could use some work. The content is good and your questions are good. Um, but yeah, definitely it would just be about delivery. Um, there was another point I was going to make, um, but, oh, uh, just a, just a quick, uh, 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 just a quick, um, oh yeah, my point was, um, definitely just slow down, um, uh, with your sentences, just say what you, like, say what, say what you're going to say, uh, like, like, and so with market size, I mean, you just go ahead, um, in the market size, I would like to look at what are the attractive, aspects of this market and what groups you see what i mean just like just slowly getting out your words instead of you know instead of just like going at it just like pushing forward and, and going back and forth just uh is the size of the market large enough for our client to address and then with customers what kind of client even you see what i mean it doesn't have to be what kind of clients is our customers but just slowly getting out and articulating yourself it's slowing down right it doesn't have to be like you know it doesn't have to be like you're um some kind of suave salesman that just kind of like, you know, smoothly, you know, whatever. Um, I, I wouldn't say like they're expecting that. They're just expecting, uh, the, the interview is just expecting um, 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 clear ideas, clear ideas, right? Del delivery is not so much, um, you know, such like a, you know, like, like, like a well-versed presentation that you would give to like, you know, in front of investor. It, it's just, this is, this is, this is the structure, right? Like in the actual, in the actual job, this structure kind of uh, in this this would be in the back end where the client would get hey we're just looking to get into this market and you'd ask your opening questions or whatever I was like all right we'll be right back and then and then the team our, our team the consulting team would go into the back into the their own conference room we draw up everything whatever um, so um, the the structure as long as you just articulate it slow so slow down and just get your senses out um, yeah over and then yeah we we went on um, I forgot what question you had asked. To move on i think you asked something about the market uh you asked something about the market whatever uh, the, the market status and and so yeah and we we're we we're pretty close so i'm like all right let's go on with 
as profitable. So for whatever, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm like actually not super good at this and, and you seem pretty strong at this is that you always have an, you have an intuition of where to go next. Um, had you, you know, you, good thing you're not doing this, but you're not like, oh, you know, what are, you know, what, uh, what, regu you know, you, you don't start with like, oh, what kind of federal regulations should we, <laughs> like something ridiculous like that. You have an intuition about where to go next in the case. So where the, where to drive the case forward. And so that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, yeah, I, I, what do you, what do you think? Um, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I mean, thank you so much for the feedback. It's I will and I will definitely check the uh, recording mm -hmm. after we finish that to see, um, to see how you, how, how, what, what's how your, seeing it. yeah, yeah. How, how you're, you're, you're seeing my performance. I think for the uh, next Friday, um, uh, I, I want to, I want to, I, you know what, um, you know, so for for the uh, next Friday, I want to, I still want to practice uh, market entry, but in how to articulate myself mm -hmm. clearly. That is my main focus. And that's one thing. And the second thing is um, uh, market entry usually come along with the market side. Market side usually is about a brainstorm and math, especially math heavily. So, mm -hmm. so for next week, I think I want to practice, um, so it's still framework, but focus on the uh, delivery. And mm -hmm. the second is the uh, math, the uh, market sizing, mm -hmm. especially the market sizing math. It's, okay. it's so, um, I mean, I'm not, um, I think the math part, the number part, is not the uh, biggest challenge, but how to, walk you through and approach what, it yeah, yeah how, how how to walk you through uh the the the, the process that, that in my mind in a logical mm -hmm. way as the main barrier that i'm facing mm -hmm. so it's still so i think that the next week next week it's still about market entry and market sizing mm -hmm. but it's more focused on uh delivery that'll yeah. be that'll be good yeah, oh absolutely. and you know what and yeah, you know what I think I want to share is by setting a very clear goal every week. I think that's really helpful. Yeah, it's really helpful because before that, I it's kind of I, I it's like I was surrounded by, uh, it's like I'm in the ocean, all around me. <laughs> yeah. kind of yeah. I don't um, know what's the direction. I just yeah. know, no, I need to keep 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 swimming forward. <laughs> and but i mean thank you so much for 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 pointing that out that we should focus on market entry and the uh, maybe do framework next week mm -hmm. and then i start to focus on okay now i focus on the the market entry and focus mm -hmm. on framework and then i start it's kind of like i i, I have a center to swift swimming around and mm -hmm. now it's really really good and yeah. so um, Mm -hmm. So you're completely right. So, so one, like the delivery and uh, articulation. Yeah. I mean that like learning that skill now and, and honing that, that, that'll just translate to the rest of the case, you know, the same, like getting your senses out, that'll be used. And when you're explaining the exhibit, synthesizing it in the conclusion, so yeah, definitely just nailing that now. And as well, um, really pretty much, um, uh, it is the same, the structure is the, the big structure, but the, the same skill set that you use to build this structure is the same thing you would go about, um, the, the rest of the case. So, um, for example, I forgot where I was going to go about this. Um, but yeah, pretty much, yeah, you pretty much, these, these are transferable skills to transfer throughout the rest of the case. Um, so yeah, um, definitely we'll go on with that. Um, from, for example, let's, I'm going to pull up the, um, the other case we just did, the Chococo case. Um, so just to, just to jump ahead, um, a little bit, by the way, um, it's it's only eleven. We have time for one more. Would you be interested in doing another one, or are you pretty? No, good? I I I think um, I mean, I don't see that benefit to me as much. Okay, that yeah. much by just re repeating that because I already know what where is my weakness, and I already yeah. figure out where I want to, uh, going forward for coming weeks. So I think that's already good for me now. And okay, cool. by just practicing these two case, it's kind of testify how I sort out my idea. It really works. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so so that's, uh, I, th I think I already get great feedback this week already. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so just to jump ahead a little bit for the uh, for the market sizing, um, from what I understand um, how to do it, and I, I I think I have an okay understanding of um, how to how to do it. So let me let me just let me just quickly try this. Hold on. Um, yeah, here we go. So so the way so uh, just the just the one we just did uh, with the Chococo. Uh, yeah, we just get a structure. And it's like oh, so our client would like to us to estimate the size of the premium chocolate industry in the United States. And then you would say, of course, great. Uh, could I take a moment to structure my thought and how to approach this problem? And hopefully, almost always the interviewer will say, yeah, yeah, sure, you know, go for it. Um, sometimes they won't and they want you to do it on the spot. But again, almost always they'll be like, yeah, sure. Um, and then like you, you write down whatever. And then of course we go top down because, you know, uh, we, this is the one where we go top down because the, um, the, uh, the population is not homogeneous, right? There's all these segments. Um, so we go top down from the population. So after taking your pause, we would say something like, okay, so in addressing the problem of, a, you know, estimating the size of the premium chocolate industry in the United States, I would like to first break it down from the U.S. population as a whole and then split that by gender because I feel that, you know, the male and, and female gender would uh, purchase different amounts of chocolate. I From that, I'd like to look at a percent, that per and then on and on, right? And you multiply by average price per chocolate bar to get an estimate of the total market size. And then from there, I would start adding in numbers, right? It would be the, okay, so 50, 50, 160, you know, you see what I mean? So first, like get, get all of, gosh, first get all of this out, right? And and having, having taken a pause to get your thoughts in order, just like, just like, just like in the rest of the case, you know, in the structure, we take a second to get our, our thoughts in order. Um, So, you know, this one, you know, for this is just like 20, 30 seconds, but you get some idea. So, and then articulate all of this, articulate all of this stuff. And then from there, once you're in, once the interview is like, yeah, that sounds like a good approach. Um, then you would go ahead and do the numbers. Um, but yeah, you, you can see how this is. This is oh my gosh, um, this is pretty much the same as how we approached the the structure, right? The the, the framework. Um, so I definitely agree. Like yeah, having once we nail down this, um, you know, asking questions and taking a pause and doing at the framework, those skills would be transferable to the market entry to. Um, the the brainstorming to the 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 exhibits in a way. Um, so yeah, once we once we first nail this part, and I totally I totally get what you said about um you know it's like a big ocean of getting swimming around. The the way they put it in the modules is pretty much um it's like you're trying to practice your pudding, like pudding's your weak point, and every time you want to practice your pudding, your 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 golf pudding, you're playing a full eighteen rounds. You know, it's like not the best way to practice your pudding, right? Or, or your, you know, I, I don't know how much you know about golf, but anyway, yeah. But yeah, so I think the way we're going about it now is is pretty great. Um, and so yeah, I I think um I think that'd be great. So yeah, between delivery, delivery, and getting that structure really just like you know like separate buckets. Yeah, we we talked all about it this time. Um, but yeah, definitely, I think we can work on that. And then again, those skills will transfer forward to the to the market sizing, right? Because each of those segments are different from male, female to age group, and then percent that purchase versus price of whatever. Um, yeah, and so I, I think we're on we're, we're we're on a great great path forward. So yeah, um, right. definitely. I think, yeah, I think once I nail down the um the delivery part, it's I I never. I never forced myself to practice that before. Mm -hmm. And even even though I know that it's a big problem for me. So, but for this week, if I, or maybe this week and next two weeks, if I can practice that really well and solve that problem, that will boost mm -hmm. my confidence for sure. So, and, and for the second case that you asked me about uh, how do I think about the case, I think there's still a, uh, uh, an element that I want to address is about the level of the, com the confidence. Mm -hmm. It's like I kind of know I cannot deliver that very clearly, so I you start, I start falling to, apart. Yeah, yeah, I start to lose my confidence. Mm -hmm. So even though even though the content is okay, but I but even even though even though you are talking about the same content and same words, but if one with su super strong confidence, I mean the. Uh, it's it's like it will change the world. It's mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, because it, it it just it just keeps your momentum, right? Because once you start falling here and there, and it's like oh wait, and then you just start turning around. But once you just have the momentum, you're going you're going line by line. 
Um, and yeah, de definitely like something that's just really important is that it's um it's progress, not perfection, right? We're not gonna just click and next week like we're we're all set. We're, we're just gonna be keeping making progress until the year. We're never gonna be perfect. We're never gonna be like you know at this stage we're not gonna be like a like a, a partner communicating with a client like you know I, I don't even know how they're just amazing you know of course they're partners but we're just not this is not gonna be the case right now. Um, that's not gonna be where we're at. Like no matter how much we practice our you know, analysts or, you know, MBA higher, um, level of, of, so yeah, it's progress, not perfection. We'll just keep at it on uh, just little by little get better. And you are getting better. This was great. Uh, compared to, yeah. compared to what it was. The last one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, already getting uh -huh. better. I, I hope you can believe that. Um, yeah. but yeah, I'll, sure. I'll, see, I'll, I'll send I'll, you this recording. Just make sure to watch it. Yeah. And just, and just see what I'm seeing, you know? So that that oh and by the way super next next monday you're okay with time right next monday 10 a.m you're okay with that yeah yeah um it For is your turn yeah yeah it is um it is memorial day. so yes yes it's fine oh um, yeah it's memorial day or do yeah. you want to do tuesday i'm okay so let's go on tuesday um, tuesday yeah i'm glad to go on tuesday tuesday yeah yeah let's do tuesday instead i'll i'll same time 10 a.m on tuesday great and also uh what kind of what what part that you want to practice? And I I benefit so much by you know keep my efforts focusing on one part. So mm -hmm. yeah, what 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 do you want to practice? And then I can, uh, before our meeting, I could pull up relevant re relevant yeah. case. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so so uh, where I'm at right now is I I did a case with Kevin where it's like um. Um, it was like it was like a really hard it was like a really hard case um and so i i did relatively well on it um and so i i think right now where i'm at is like in the public case offering i mean the whole spreadsheet i'm at like not beginner friendly and my consulting offer recommended for pretty like um niche industries um so the one that the one that um the one that um um that Kevin and I did, it was a banking, like a hedge fund kind of, um, you know, assets under man. And, and I just have no, I have no background in banking. So it was definitely um, pretty tough. Um, but yeah. Uh, and also, yeah, so definitely, um, yeah, like a not beginner. Do you, or, or, you know what, I, I think there's one way that could be helpful. I think, or maybe you could, you could, I mean, there is a cheat sheet about the industry. Right mm, in yeah, the uh, yeah. in the in the library, and you can go over the uh, the 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 list of the industry and point mm. it out the three most uh interested industry that you want to get to know more. So definitely not you know uh, like hotel leisure that's kind of uh normal. Oh. And I mean yeah, yeah. I just ju just tell yeah, me I, I know the, what you mean. Yeah. Three, the three industry that you want to dive in, and you do the reading, you do the homework. And you watch some uh relevant video like I just um uh, I I I yeah CNBC uh, yeah the, yeah CNBC things where I mean just just uh, look around things and and put yourself around the terms the industry uh the 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 news and I could just pick just one randomly and yeah to to see I I think yeah, that's yeah. a way to push you uh into a more uh, structured way to gain expertise mm -hmm. because we if we just if i just pick randomly out of nowhere an industry i don't think you will benefit from that even though you do a case you won't gain much insight by just mm -hmm. doing a case and knowing that you don't you're not good at that that will not help you to improve yeah i, I completely agree yeah thanks i i really think that's um that's that's great insight yeah i'll, I'll let you know um by the three the, yeah the three industry that you want mm -hmm. to you yeah, want you three, want to do it. yeah 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 I'll, I'll definitely and yeah because um and, and by the way hotel hotel and hospital hotel and hospitality actually is pretty interesting so maybe maybe <laughs> <that's> <laughs> sure sure yeah. yeah yeah but but not yet I'll, I'll i'll let you know i'll let you know or um, maybe or maybe not three because it's, it's already friday and uh, you have a long weekend coming ahead or maybe two industry i mean just uh just yeah. uh push you i mean not this industry just give you some some yeah. uh random chance yeah, yeah, no, no, absolutely. Yeah, we'll 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 just get together. I I'll have a couple industries in mind. Uh definitely not an easy one and, and definitely recommended. Um and as for like type of case, um, I think I think with cost cutting and revenue growth, they're pretty similar um to you know just profitability. Um so I guess it would either be 
market entry or profitability. I'll I'll let you I'll let you know what I'm interested in. Um, yeah, I'll definitely I let mean, you know. Oh, I I mean you're already uh beyond the uh the basic level, so I won't I won't I won't give you the privilege to choose a pay size. <laughs> okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, no, thank you. I, I've been I've been practicing so so much for like a long time now. Um, and so. Yeah, it, it it really is. These are fun. I, these are really fun, actually. I, I really enjoy these. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think they're quite fun. Um, and so and also just business is just such. A, there's so many industries and so many. Oh, and and there is one material I think is really helpful. It's there is a mini MBA module that on MCO uh uh library, but I'm not sure. Have you checked it out? Already? Yeah, yeah, I I've checked it out. I haven't. Um, I haven't. Yeah, I I haven't. I haven't looked at it in a while, but I checked it out a while ago. Um, yeah, so I'll take a look at that too. Yeah, yeah. but I think that's really um, a niche. Uh, I mean, it's really a, a neat way to, to put things together. And yeah. I really appreciate that. So yeah. it's it's benefiting me. I think it will definitely benefit you as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, yeah, um, this is super cool. I um, I, yeah. I actually, I'm, I'm taking a, um, you know, it, it hurt my wallet, that's for sure. And maybe the return, <laughs> the return isn't, as you know, worth the cost, but I'm actually gonna, I actually am currently taking the Harvard Business Online, like uh, core, it was way too expensive. It, it was absolutely absurd how expensive it was. Um, how much is it? 2,500, 2,500 for 10 weeks. Um, which oh, is that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the, uh, the price core. you expect. Yeah. The what? The, I mean, that is the, the price that you expect if you do a uh, online graduate education from a, uh, a uh, top university yeah. like Stanford, yeah, yeah. Harvard, and so on. Yeah. Two thousand, about two thousand bucks. Yeah, and, and also, also, I feel like getting this like certification and doing really well in it. I, I think that like it would, it would show some, um, some commitment. More effort. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Commitment to this uh -huh. career path, you know, because I, I have pretty much like, you know, I, I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer by engineer by training. I literally just right now I'm learning mm -hmm. that one of the courses is like, um, accounting, like you know, basically like um. I mean, gosh. Um. I, anyway, this is basic accounting, like um, like materiality and uh, conservatism. Uh, do, do these ring a bell of like really basic accounting terms, uh, accounting principles? Um. Regardless, mm -hmm. I'm like I'm like learning. I'm like, whoa, this is a, this is actually accounting is actually quite interesting. Uh, <laughs> um. But yeah, pretty much, I'm I'm I I I think not only does it uh it, I I I'm like really like we talked about a while ago. I'm just lacking like. The most uh, fundamentals of business language and principles so not only is this going to be like teaching me the content but also it'll like show my commitment to this career path so um i think it's a good investment 10 weeks it started it started on tuesday so it'll end in august and so i think around that time you, you see that around it, it, it's a little bit it is what it is. It, it, it is it is what it is um and so i think it's I mean, you know you know what i just i want i, I mean should should we stop the recording? Oh yeah, I think wow. We're done I with totally the, 